Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I come from you live watching the Liberty and Fever game. Caitlin Clark is cooking in the first quarter. Let's recap what the picks yesterday looked like. Turner and Siakam both hit the over on their point props. Siakam dominated as I said he probably would. Turner a little closer, but with the blowout, still cash as well. Kyle Burton shot less than 10 threes for the DFS players. And he made three threes going under his three-point made prop as well. McBride did a great job there. And Brunson potentials weren't really there yesterday. He wasn't very efficient from the field, so I think they stopped sending doubles and extra defensive help. So overall, pretty solid reads there. Now it's time for some Thunder Maverick prop. It's been my favorite series to bet on this round. Let's make some more money with it. Let's start with the obvious here. Josh Giddy benched last game. Probably gets benched again. I'm thinking he sees a similar like eight-minute run here. He barely played in the second half. I think a lot of that is due to Shea barely sitting in the second half. They started Isaiah Joe last game. Comments from Dejanault said he wouldn't reveal what he's going to do, but that his team is the best three-point shooting team in the league for a reason, and they just got to keep shooting it because the Mavericks are stacking that paint against Shea. So I do think if we see Joe again, going to see lots of Case and Wallace minutes. Wiggins minutes were really low last game. We'll see where that goes. But basically, I'm saying Giddy under RA, probably a pretty good look. And then last game with five RA in that really small minute, Mark. He only had two assist chances and four rebound chances. So he converted five of his six RA chances. That's not sustainable. His rebounds were extremely fluky. He had a rebound off of a free throw. He had a tipped offensive rebound. And then that went into a Jalen Williams three. So he got two RA in two seconds when he should have got zero. You can definitely wait to see if he's starting or not. But I think that four and a half rebounds plus assist line is way too high. Feels really sharp. And I love it. SGA, his RA line is still 13 and a half. Discord members know. His rebound and assist chances have been through the roof. Conversions have been really low on his assist all series long. Had another 16 potential assists last game. I want to say he's had 28 or more RA chances in every single game. It is away from home. Role players, young guys, away from home. Could be a little bit of a downgrade to the assists. But minutes, opportunity are there. Rebounds on the weak side have been huge for him. Prop looks pretty good. Rest stuff stays the same there pretty much. Rest of it stayed pretty much the same. You know, Shea's scoring really tough buckets. They are packing the paint against him, but he's still getting his. Open shooters galore. Gotta have Dort hit some threes. The team is due for massive regression here. The spread is only four. The books know that it's going to be a close one. Pray to God that it is. I think Shooters are just going to hit some more shots today. Let's talk about the Mavericks. Talked about last time how it's really interesting to look at the potential assists for Luka and Kyrie. Luka ended with 10 assists and Kyrie only ended with four. So you might be like, oh, finally, like Kyrie's not running the point as much. You know, his assist prop doesn't look that good. He had more potential assists than Luka. He had 13 potential assists, only converted to four last game. Now you see him coming to home. Obviously, role players play better at home. Shooting should be up. Conversion should be high. You know, lob threats have been great. So obviously, you're going to convert a lot of assists on lobs. And Derek Joe Jr. and P.J. Washington at home should be good looks for three as well, as, as well as Luka on some off-ball looks. Five and a half assist line feels low there. Lively, once again, played fantastic. He got a ton of the second half run in this game. So once again, his overs look pretty good. Touched on that last time, how he's been better than Gafford. Wouldn't expect starting lineup to change at all, though. This is what sticks out to me right away. I'll be giving this game a little bit deeper look later as well. Discord won't get any additional looks and plays, of course. They get everything. I think Giddy look is super sharp, honestly, if you're going to take one play from this video. When he's out there, they let him score. He's getting, you know, he's in the dunker spot, getting layups from Shea sometimes. They leave him wide open from three. They are begging him to shoot the ball, knowing that is the best outcome for them not to score a lot of the time. He brings the ball up, but it's, you know, not to run sets. He's just like... Passing it, and then he's heading to the corner. Pretty unproductive. I think that's a really, really sneaky good prop. Maybe the best one of the day. Other than that, we got MLB today. A couple props there. We got some WNBA we're cooking up. If you want to check out all that stuff, head to Discord. Really open for a great game as an NBA fan here. Should be super fun. I'm excited. Go Thunder. Let's make some money tonight. Woo!